The Volkswagen Passat has certainly had a long history here in America. With the current generation coming out in 2012, it was known as the seventh generation model. Now for 2020, Volkswagen is giving the Passat a pretty extensive overhaul. I'm at the 2019 Detroit International Auto Show. Let's take a first look. So unlike the smaller Jetta sibling, the Passat is technically not all new. This is still riding on the same NMS platform. It's kind of like a different platform versus the rest of the Passats around the world. This is essentially designed to be cheaper to build and cheaper to price. This is the first Passat to be built at the North American plant facility when it was introduced back in 2012. Now for this 2020 model, Volkswagen gave it a pretty extensive refresh. The first thing you're probably gonna notice, the headlights, they're a little bit slimmer. The one good thing they added were standard full LED headlights uh, on all trims, uh, LED low and high beams and an incandescent turn signal. The upper trims will kind of have the parking sensors and then you can see the grill is a little bit larger. It's the same corporate VW grill. Overall, I think the car looks still relatively handsome if slightly boring. Uh, that's kind of my criticism when this car when it came out. It was a little bit of a conservative, too conservatively styled sedan. Now this not riding on a new platform means that it's still the same size at roughly 194 inches long. This is about the same size as a Honda Accord. It's wheel base at around 110 inches long, smack in the middle of all the other family sedans. The wheel sizes, they range from a 17 inch wheel up to a 19 inch wheel. This one, as you can see here, are the 18 inch wheels that you get on this particular trim. If you guys go for the R-Line model, it'll have like a 19 inch wheel to fill out the wheel wells a little bit nicer. Now again, uh, much more traditional shape with the actual body. You don't have like this little you know, sloping roof that takes away from your headroom, so that's good. The back seat space is still very competitive with this current generation Passat. Now looking at the rear of the vehicle, I actually think they've done a really good job with making this look even more Audi-like. I also like the fact that they kind of spell out Passat here on the lower part of the rear trunk lid. You have LED tail lights, which are standard equipment across the board on all of the trims. And then down here, thankfully no fake exhaust tips, although I will say they tried to make this little area here with the chrome trim look like an exhaust port. Um, so that may annoy a couple of people. Now in terms of the trunk capacity, the Passat's always had a relatively large trunk and this one doesn't change. It's still roughly around 16 cubic feet of space. And then you have the seats that fold down um, 60, 40. And then underneath here, VW still throws in a temporary spare tire so you don't have to deal with a fix it flat kit. So underneath the Passat's hood, which by the way, this is a heavy hood. I forgot how heavy this is. Um, engine choices are actually very simple. You know, remember when Volkswagen used to offer like three or four different engines under this vehicle? It's been simplified to one engine. And basically Volkswagen got rid of the V6 that I liked so much in 2018. It's been replaced by an all four cylinder turbo lineup. This is the company's corporate two liter turbocharged TSI four cylinder. It's actually the same motor that's in the current generation Tiguan. Horsepower remains the same at 174, but torque has been increased slightly from 184 to 207, so they did improve the torque so it has stronger low end response. Unlike a lot of its competitors, it still uses a six speed automatic transmission. Even Volkswagen's Jetta uses an eight speed, and Passats are only front wheel drive. There's no more all wheel drive version, there's no manual, there's no diesel, no diesel version. So this is a relatively conventional car. Fuel economy should stay the same at around 25 in the city. 36 on the highway, but let's take a look at the interior and see some of the changes that VW has made. Now in the interior of the 2020 Passat, Volkswagen did make some nice changes to the vehicle. The overall design of the dash hasn't changed, but you can see here they've added kind of more of this horizontal strip where the vent kind of goes through from the driver's side to the passenger side. You have this imitation wood. You have this soft touch grading material with this faux stitching on the upper portion. It is hard touch plastic down here. Remember, Volkswagen kind of cheapened the interior for this generation. It wasn't quite as bad as the Mark VI Jetta, but you definitely notice that the door panels here are soft touch, which are nice. The window controls, all the switch gear in here is definitely the older style um, Volkswagen switch gear. Now, the one thing they did update, the infotainment screen. This is still not the newest one that's in the new Jetta, but they did kind of replace the screen with an all grass glass layout versus before they had the dedicated hard buttons. So this looks a little bit cleaner, but the screen itself is a little bit on the small side. The steering wheel, you can see here, tilts and telescopes. You have a nice view out of the front. The seats are comfortable, um, but you don't get things like cooled seats. You do get heated uh, front and rear seats, but no cooled seats. Volkswagen offers that on the Jetta, but not on the Passat. So that's a silly omission now. Uh, this all new, or this new 2020 Passat will go on sale in the summer of 2019, so a few more months. And Volkswagen hasn't announced pricing, but the current one starts at around 25,295. I would imagine this to stay roughly the same uh, for the 2020 model year. For Redline Reviews of the 2019 Detroit International Auto Show, I'm Sophie on Bay.